Hello, guys. Good evening. Good evening. Hi. How's everything today, guys? Why do I have the camera off? Jesus Christ. Let me see how many people are we going to have as a listener today. Oh, we got several people as listeners. Mm. That is not really, really, really good. But anyways. All right, guys. I'm just uh, loading the attendance list. Tonight, we are going to have a very practical class pretty similar to the one that we were uh, doing yesterday, in which, if you remember, guys, you were participating with your classmates, you were sharing your ideas about uh, the topic, you know, like that you were discussing. So we are going to have a pretty similar class tonight. So just let me load this uh attendance listen i don't know why this is taking so long and we are going to start all right just give me a couple of seconds hi. Just... Good evening. hi good evening good evening sir let me see ah here it is Okay, so as I said, guys, let's start with the attendance list. We got a lot of things to share tonight. You have a lot of practice to do as well, right? We have a, a conversation also to practice. We have a couple of questions related to that conversation uh, to discuss. And then a series of activities, of course, that at the end we will be doing. All right, so, but let's start with the attendance list, guys. Um, give me a second. Uh, Carmen Eugenia. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so she's not here. Christian Alejandro. Present. Okay, great. Daniel Arquimides. Mm, all right, so we don't have Daniel right now. Daisy Maricela. Okay, so not here yet. Edwin Alexander. Present. Okay, great. Edwin Vladimir. Okay, not here yet. Estela Mabel. Present teacher. Okay, great. Fatima Adriana. Present. Okay, nice. Fatima Lourdes. Hmm, so she's not here yet. Jaime Antonio. I am Fatima is there. Okay, Fatima. Uh, Jaime Antonio, is it there? Uh, no, no, here yet. Eduardo Jose. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Carla Lisette. Is Carla here? Okay, no yet. Kenya Cecilia. Kenya, are you there? Present. Okay, great. Lorena Beatriz. Yes, present. Okay, Kenya, thank you. All right, let's see. So Lorena is not here yet. Manuel Antonio. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Manuel, I guess it's as a listener again. Maria Gabriela. Uh, 
Okay, Maria. Good. Mary Raquel. Okay, so she's not here yet. Uh, Noemi Betsabe. Is it here? Mm -hmm. Okay, so she's not here yet. And we have the last one, Osbin Alexis. That is not yet connected in here. Okay, so just give me a second. I'm just going to reassign these people that are just going to get connected. Let me see. I am in Daniel is in here. Mm. Daisy is in here, so I'm gonna check on here. And uh, let me see who else. Oh, my red account is also here. Give me one second, guys. And just rechecking this. Okay, great. So let's start, guys. Let's start with, uh, you know, like the contents that we're going to be discussing uh, tonight. But as always, guys, if you remember, we generally uh, do a short feedback before starting with, you know, the class discussion that we generally uh, have. So guys, what were we discussing yesterday? What do you remember from yesterday's class? And basically you were the protagonist yesterday, if you remember, because you were the ones who were uh, sharing the most, uh, with your classmates and everything, so you have a lot of things to 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 talk about, right? Good. Who wants to start, guys, by telling me what were you doing yesterday? I have internet problems, so this is bad. Okay. Hi, Daisy. Yes. Uh, yesterday uh, we talked about the quest questions to us to uh, your future 3PL provider. Uh -huh. Okay, so we were talking about, all right, how to choose a 3PL provider. All right, very good. What else were we discussing about? Thank you, Lacey. Oh, what were we discussing about that? Um, also, we made a company to, to offer you a shipping service. Uh, uh, okay. in large quanti quantity uh, to the world country. Uh, okay, man, and that was a great activity for all of you guys. You did it excellent on that activity. Okay, thank you, Christian. What else, guys? What else do you remember that you were doing yesterday? We learned something about the, the important that the service can give uh, the company, the TPL company to us. Yeah. Uh, some things uh, like um, have the, the security, mm -hmm. um, the um, I don't remember anything, but only the security. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right, man, that's good. That's good. All right, perfect. Yeah, guys, if you remember, uh, we were just discussing about how to choose, right? Uh, the right uh, 3PL provider, right? I'm driving. Okay, thank you for telling me, Ospin. Okay, so yeah, I mean, we were discussing about that, uh, and at the end, you guys were creating. Jesus, guys, everybody's going to be as a listener today. All right, thank you for telling me, Fatima. 
uh, if you guys remember, at the end, as you were saying, you were doing what? You were doing a company in which you were offering me your services, right? As a 3PL company provider. So what are we going to do today? Today, we're going to do a kindly similar to what we were just doing yesterday. But in this case, you're going to be positioning as if you are, you know, like the company uh, producer, right? And you can choose the company provider. Right? So in that case, let's start, guys. And I want to show you something before starting with that. Second. Okay. Okay, I'm not sure this presentation to you. Part. Okay. So Let's start over. Okay, so now what uh, it's uh, the, the topic that we're gonna be discussing of, or part of the topic because this topic is gonna cover tomorrow as well. It says, sample of a checklist to hire a 3PL provider and discuss it says. All right, so basically that's what we're gonna be discussing tonight. But before doing that, guys, I'm bringing you something else. If you remember, so we have been discussing the whole week uh, in the previous week about, all right, logistics and the process of, of, of uh, that requires a logistics, what's a provider and all those uh, fields. So I took into account the fact that we need to know vocabulary related to logistics as well, right? Because there are a couple of words that probably we don't understand it full or fully. So in this case, that's what we are going to start tonight with, right? So with a couple of things, all right? Just for you to get familiar with these uh, kinds of vocabulary words. So the first word that I am bringing to you guys is a back order. Have you ever heard this word before? A back order? Never? Okay. What is a back order? Check this out. We've got a short definition about what is a back order in here, right? So Elwin Vladimir, could you please help me out reading the definition about this? Yes, of course. It says, to put in simply, a back order is when a retailer orders something that's currently out of stock. The client trusts the company long enough to wait for the order to be shipped at the at later date. Okay, at a later date. Thank you, Edwin. Listen up to this, guys. To put it simply, a back order is when a retailer orders something that is currently out of stock. It means that you don't have it. If you have a, a company who produces the product, you don't have the product ready. So what does the client do in this case? They trust on you guys. They trust on you long enough, he says, to wait for the order to be shipped later on, right? In a future, probably a couple of days later or probably what? Three or four uh, days later or one week later. So in this case, this is what a back order means, right? And this happens very often when companies uh, make contracts with the small retailers, companies, right? Uh, that they uh, offer their products and those retailer companies buy the products. So in this case, uh, this is like the way how a back order functions, all right? So if you try to translate this back order uh, word into Spanish, it's like uh, 
como un pedido pendiente, right? Un pedido por enviar. So in this case, that's what the that back order uh, means. Now, what is a freight? What about this word, guys? Have you ever heard this word before? Freight. How do you understand the word freight? What is a freight for you? I think it's, uh, it's something related to the drugs or, or, or the bagoon. I don't know. Okay, it's basically oh, something well, related to that, all right? Basically related to trucks or trailers. But, but in this case, it's when included everything. Check this out. I have a definition for for, for this word in here. Uh, Daniel, help me a reading, please. Okay. Phrase. This refers to the goods that are carried in bulk by land, sea, or air. It can also mean the fees by for the transportation of this goods. Ah, okay, great, thank you. Okay, so take a look at this, what it says. A freight, what is freight? Freight refers to the goods, it says, that are carried in bulk by land. Using what? Using a trailer or probably a truck. By land, by sea, or air. It can also mean the fees pay for the transportation of these goods, it says. So, how do you understand this word, guys? So, what is freight for you now? What do you think is freight? Is transport, transport, or transport, I think. Okay, what else? What else, guys? What do you think is freight? Another word that we can use is uh, cargo. Ah, okay, very good. Yeah, I mean, that's another one. Uh, the only thing that, yeah, we will see that, that, that word later on, like cargo. Exactly. So in this case, freight, it refers to the transportation process, right? From uh, the, the goods and services that you might provide in this case, right? But this one it's related when you are transporting a big quantity of product that it can go by land using trailers it can go by air using airplanes or it can go by sea using you know like ships right so in this case it's like that's what it is the transport all right and it often it often refers to the whole load in Spanish, it will be trans, uh, translated like carga, right? Also, carga, or in this case, transport as well. So that is what freight means about, okay? Now, let's continue. Inventory. This one is pretty easy for you guys. What is an inventory? What is this? Probably some of you work with inventories uh, in your, uh, you know, companies. Hi, is inventory this? is when a uh, uh, quantity of product in mm -hmm. storage. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you. I mean, you got the same background as Mary. You and Mary work in the same company, right? Yes. Uh, okay, so that's why you got the same background. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, there you go. So let's take a look at this. Check this out. Christian, help me reading. Inventory. This refers to all the goods or a list of all the goods that are held by a business to be sold. Okay, very good. 
So basically, it refers to all the product, right? All right, or a list of the products that you can have in your company. And obviously, that that product is ready to what? To be sold or to be transported, right? To different retailer stores. So that's what an inventory is about. Okay, so in here, I think everything is clear with this word, all right? We don't have any kind of problem um, with this. So let's move. Let's move from inventory. Okay, lading it says. Okay, so this is another one. Check this out. Uh, Carla, are you available now? If you are so, can you please help Good me read? Yes. All right, okay. help me read. The, this term typically refers to the load of cargo or goods onto a transportation vehicle. However, it also sometimes refers to the cargo itself. Ah, okay, very good. So in this case, how do you guys understand the word lading? What do you think it is? Listen up to the definition. This term typically refers to the load of cargo or goods onto a transportation vehicle. However, it also sometimes refers to the cargo itself. What is cargo in this case for you guys? The product or a huge uh, quantity of product. Now, nah, okay, okay, very good. Something else? Any other opinion, guys? Maybe, maybe it's a bill to refer uh, what the goods that you have when you made the transportation. Mm, okay, I mean, that, that's another one. Okay, good. Somebody else, guys? Any other opinion? Maybe a big quantity of things or products that need to transport the place and other place. Okay, yeah, I mean, that's another way, all right, to, to mention this. All of you guys are correct. So in this case, a cargo, it can be a way of payment, right? But also it can mean the product itself ready to be shipped or transported right by truck so in this case to the whole component of the product it can be called cargo in this case and also it can be called lading all right so in this case right this one it can be translated like uh plate right it, it is like the compound uh, product right ready to be chipped so that's what it talks about here. Now, what about the, the other one? This one is the one that we have been discussing. So, and we've gotten the, the main target, logistics service provider. All right, so check this out, guys. Um, Daisy, help me out reading, please. As the term suggests, LSP fees are third part parties that provide companies and clients with logistics service. Ah, okay, there you go. Thank you. So let's remember a logistics service provider. I mean, what is that? We have been discussing that a lot. What is that, guys? It's not the same, the same three PL. Exactly, it's what we have been discussing. Exactly, that's what it is, right? 
So it's basically a third party company that provides what? That provides services like warehousing, like packing, like transportation services and all related to productions, right? From other companies, of course. All right, so as a logistics service provider, right? I wanted to include that one, guys, because it's part of the logistics process, okay? Good. What about this one? Order picking. What do you think is that? Any idea of this this definition? I mean, this concept, order picking. Maybe it's the product uh, prepared to be shipping. Okay, okay. There you go. So, Eduardo, help me on reading. Is there any kind of... The order picking is the process of assembling the goods before they're shipped off to the customer. Mm -hmm. it's, it's one of the basic warehousing process. Okay, very good, thank you. It's one of the basic warehousing processes, it says. Why? Because the order picking, it refers to the process, as uh, Lorena was saying, of getting the product ready to be shipped or transported, as you want to call it, to the customer, right? So in this case, it's like when you and your company or in the warehouse that you are working with prepare the product, right? And they put the product in the trailer and that trailer leaves and that trailers go away from, from the, uh, probably the warehouse. So in that case, to that process, it's called order picking, right? So in this case, this is like the way how we call to this process. Now, right after the order picking, we have order processing, right? This is another one, order processing. And what does this says? Uh, let me see who can help me out reading. Jesus, most of you guys are as a listener today. Kenya, uh, can, could you fix your internet issue? Can you listen to me? Yes. Okay, cool. Can you help me out reading the definition for this one? Okay. This refers to all the different activities related to the filling of a customer order until they are complete. It usually includes the picking, sorting, picking and delivery of the goods to the shipping carrier. Ah, okay, very good. So in this case, that's what it talks about, guys. Listen, in this case, it says it just refers to all, listen up, to all the different activities related to the filling of a customer's order, right? Until they're completed. So in this case, it's like basically the process of packing and organizing all the products that you are going to you know, pack and sell to the customer and send to the customer in this case, right? So to that process of organizing, of putting into the trailer, right? The, the product and everything, it's called order processing, right? So as the word says, because you are processing, what? You're processing the products into the trailers in the correct way, in the correct manner, just for that, you know, uh, pro to be shipped to the customer by using what? By using a shipping carrier, of course, right? So in this case, guys, that's what an order processing, uh, it's all about, right? The process of organizing and putting into the trailers, the product ready to be shipped. Okay. Great. Now, let's continue. Now, warehousing. 
This one, it's a term, a term that it's basically mm, kind of easy to you because we have been discussing about this a lot. So what is warehousing, guys? What is warehousing for you? Any opinion? All right, Eduardo. I think it's a place where you take safe the goods. Now, okay, good. Thank you, Eduardo. Any other opinion? Warehousing. Any other opinion about this? Concept? What is warehousing to you guys? A storage place. No, on a storage place, okay. A place that you can use to storage your product, to store your product, okay. Let's take a look at, at the definition that I am bringing in here for you guys. Check this out. It says, Warehousing, the act of storing goods that are to be distributed and so at a later date. The commercial building where goods are stored, it's called warehouse. Okay. The facility, it's called warehouse. But warehousing is the process of storing goods all right, that are going to be later on distributed to customers. So the process is the processing of a storing, storage, right? The products into the place that is like the one that it's called warehousing, right? So in this case, let's remember warehousing, the process to store the product. And warehouse is the facility, right? La instalación. In that case, good. I think that was that. That is going to be pretty easy for you guys to identify, right? How each word works in in. All right. So now let's continue. Let's continue with this. Now, now that we have just done with that, guys, I am bringing you something. I am bringing you a short conversation that we got in here, okay? And I would like you to practice the short conversation, guys, that is basically related to the topic that we are going to be uh, talking about uh, from now on. Now that we have a short uh, vocabulary word related, you know, to logistics, now let's focus on how to create a checklist to hire, right? A correct 3PL provider. So this conversation is about that, okay? So I am going to read the conversation, guys. I want you to pay attention. And then we're going to do the practice as we have been doing um, in the previous conversations that we have had. So this is a conversation between Rob and Christina. Okay, it says Rob, listen. Hey, Christina, what aspects do you consider is really important to take in consideration when selecting our next 3PL provider? It says Christina, well, there are several options to take into account. You know, we are growing and we need to partner with a competitive company provider. It says one of the options is that they must have a disaster recovery plan in case of any problem with loads. Rob says, you are right. They also need to have a certified group of staff. So that way we can feel confident with the provider. And also they must have a great 
reference or great references in this case, right? It says, Christina, that's correct. They need to have a good background so that way we can trust our products to them. The process won't be easy, but we need to start soon. Can you help me creating a checklist so we can evaluate candidates? It says, uh, Rob, sure, I'll start working on that. And it says, Christina, thank you, Rob. Okay, from this conversation, from this basic conversation, I guess, guys, you don't have any question with vocabulary words? Everything okay with this? Any uh, no word that you probably have troubles with or the pronunciation of a word? Everything okay? Sweet. If everything is okay, guys, I want you to take an, a screenshot of this conversation. Take an, a screenshot. You're done? Okay, I guess you're done. Uh, now I'm gonna stop sharing this. And now guys, I'm gonna send you this. We're gonna go and practice this short conversation as we have been doing all the time with the previous conversation guys. But I want you to take into consideration this. You got these three questions that I'm just sending to the chat to answer right after we practice that conversation, okay? We're gonna practice over that conversation for a couple of minutes and then I want you to answer these three questions, guys, okay? Uh, and before starting assigning uh, groups in the breakout rooms, I would like to know who's as a listener and who is in the class. Jesus, I got more people as a listener today. Uh, let me see. Fatima, both Fatimas are. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Hi, Manuel. Good evening. Good evening. I, I, I can now present in the class. Ah, oh, okay. Can you participate now? Yeah, yeah, I participate. Okay, perfect, perfect. Thank you. Uh, Daniel, can you participate? Yeah, yes, yes. Nice, nice. Carla, you also can participate, right? Yes. Oh, okay, great. Let me see. I received a text message from someone that is going to be as a listener. Ah, okay, good. So this is Estela. Noemi, can you participate? Yes, I can. Ah, okay, great. I can't right now. It says Kenya. Okay, great. So I'm gonna just gonna assign it. Yeah, very few of you are going to practice. Yeah, this is an issue. Let me see, guys. Give me one second, I'm just resigning. Kenya says that she's not ready. Okay. Give me a second, guys. Kenya, Okay, it's just a couple of you guys that cannot participate. I mean, they can participate. Okay, good. Let's open up the breakout rooms, guys. Let's go to practice. Three.
at her picture. I take her picture. Uh, if you want to, Christian, you can start. Okay. Hey, Christina, what aspect do you consider it's really important to take in consideration when selecting our next TPL provider? Well, there are several options to take into account. Do you know? We are growing and we need to partner with a competitive company provider. One the option is they must have disaster recovery plan in case of any problem with loads. You're right. They also need to have a certified group staff. So that way we can feel confident with the provider. And also they must have great reference, right? That's correct. They need to have a good background so that way we can choose our product to them. The process won't be easy, but we need to start soon. Bye. I will start. Hey, Christina, what aspect do you consider is really important to take in consideration when selecting our next TPL provider? Well, there are several options to take into account. You know, we we are growing and we need to partner with a competitive company provider. One of the options is that they must have a disaster recovery plan in case of any problem with loss. Provider. Well, there are several option to take into account and you know we are growing and we need to partner with a competitive company provider one of of the option is that they must have a disaster recovery plan in case of any problem with loss you are right they also need to have a certificate group of staff so that way we can feel confident with a provider and also they must have great reference, right? That's correct. They need have to they need to have a good back, background so that way we can trust our products to them. The process won't be easy, but we need to start soon. Can you help me creating a list, a checklist so we can evaluate Candidates. Candidates. Yeah. Now, do you have the questions? Yes. Okay. And if you want, or if you want to, uh, I mean, answer the questions or keep going in the conversation. <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, they, they evaluate the, well, the, three, the next three PL provider. But that's the first question. Ah, and oh, what, what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> the, the request. And our question is um, what is the conversation about? Okay, yeah. So, what do you say to evaluate by? I have here the, the topic, I think. Maybe is that they are choosing a third party logistics provider. So, they I think that. Well, what do you say to evaluate? Maybe. Okay, the last question is, what are some options to take into account to hire a 3PL provider?
Uh, they, must, the they must have a disaster recovery plan. Uh -huh. That's the first um, thing. And others. They have to feel confident with the provider. Uh, and also they have to, they, they have great, they, sh they should have a great reference. Uh -huh. They must have a great reference. Hey. hey, Christina, what aspects do you consider really important to take in consideration when selecting our next 3PL provider? Well, there are several options to take into account. You know, we are growing and we need to partner with a competitive company provider. One other option is that they must have a disaster recovery plan in case of any problem with loads. You're right. They also need to have a certified group of staff so that way we can feel confident with the provider. And also, they must have great reference, right? That's correct. They need to have a good background so that way we can charge our product to them. The process won't be easy, but we need to start soon. Can you help me creating a checklist so we can evaluate the candidates? Sure. I will start working on that. Thank you, Rob. Okay. Oh, my exactly. turn. Try again. We're getting a speed. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it's faster. So, you see? Yes. We try to be faster. Exactly. I mean, that's the way. <laughs> improve every time, right? That's great. Yes. You? Okay. Hi, Christina. Yeah. What is that? Aspect do you consider the, the reason is that the reason is that they need to 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 select the best company for for the for his operation. That's why they need to to make a checklist from different companies that supply this uh, uh, logistic services and I think maybe at the final of this checklist they select the, the best of them yes mm. yeah 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 I agree with you back down okay. Okay. So, then the process can be easy but we need to start soon. Can you hear me? So we can. Mm -hmm. I think. Um. Can. Hmm. Can be different reason in the second. The second question says, "Why did Christina ask Rob?" to create a checklist. I think is because their company is growing and he need to and he need to select uh, to the best TPL provider and and um and the process is no easy. I think for the line. Yeah. But the principal reason have a good background so that way we can trust our products to them. The process will be easy, but we need to start soon. Can you hand me? Okay, maybe they are creating a checklist. 
so they can have candidates, right? Maybe we can say that. We can, they can have candidates or maybe a checklist is to evaluate the candidates that they have and they have to be sure that that candidate or those candidates have um, or are according to what they need, what they need, all right? I'm going to write it here. Here. Okay, this is my idea. <laughs> this is why the Christian because I create a checklist. Um, because they want to evaluate, evaluate candidates Uh, we finished it. Ah, you have finished? Okay, excellent. Yep. Yeah. Excellent. So I'm, I, I'll go and check all the groups with, because there are some of them that haven't finished. That's okay. Are you guys ready? Have you finished the questions? We are ready, teacher. Okay, great. Great. I'm going to check on the last group then. And if they are ready, we're going to go to the main section. Teacher, Kenya, no participate. Yeah, she told me that she's busy doing something. So, uh huh. I included just, just for her to listen what you were doing, okay? okay. Uh huh. to have a certified uh, certified group stuff three yes. options this two. it's another it's another yes. no yes this is another okay um for the resume uh, the three the answer of number three are three mm -hmm. red three reasons yeah uh, they right. must have a disaster recovery plan they must have a certified group stuff and they must have uh, a good or great good references background yes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i think okay okay Must reference, yeah. So that we can, we can see. Can see the How about yes. Okay. We finished, teacher. Ah, uh, you're done? Okay, perfect. If yes, you are ready, yes. guys, let's go to the main section because I want to listen to you. Okay. Nice. See you there. Okay, so these practical people are coming. I'm just gonna share the conversation, guys, so we can start. Where is the conversation? Oh, yeah, here it is. All right, who wants to be the first pair to practice the conversation? Uh, we can be the first. Okay, cool. Let's go, Christian. Okay, uh, Daniel? Uh, 
Is Daniel He's not there? there, maybe? Yeah. Give me a second. I'm here. I'm here. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Tell uh, me. Uh, I can start. Okay. Okay. Hey, Christina, what aspect do you consider is really important to take in consideration when selecting our next 3PL provider? Well, there are several options to take into account. You know, we are growing and we need to partner with a competitive company provider. One of the options is they, that they must have a disaster recovery plan in case of any problem with loss. You're right. They also need to have a certified group staff, so that way we can feel confident with the provider. And also they must have a great reference, right? That's correct. They need to have a good background, so the way we can choose our product to them. The process won't be easy, but we need to start soon. Can you help me creating a checklist so we can evaluate candidates? Sure, I will start working on that. Thanks, I do, Robert. Bro. Okay, Rob. Hey, well, thank you, Daniel. Oh, Robert. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, you did it excellent. Now, who wants to be next? Who says me? Or oh, us? Me, but I don't know. <laughs> uh, Edwin. <laughs> okay, let's go, guys. Edwin, you are you are a start. Okay, I will start. So, hi, hey Christina. What aspect do you consider is really important to take in consideration when selecting our next GPL provider? Well, there are several options to take into account. You know, we are growing and we need to partner with a competitive company provider. One of the options is that they must have a disaster recovery plan in case of any problem with loads. You're right. They also need to have a certified group staff so that way we can feel confident with the provider. And also they must have great references, right? That's correct. They need to have a good background so that way we can trust our problem to them. The process won't be easy, but we need to start soon. Can you help me creating a checklist so we can evaluate candidates? Sure, I'll start working on that. Thank you, Rob. Okay, great. Thank you, Lacey and Elwin. You did it excellent. All right, who's next? Nobody wants to be next. Come on, guys, don't be shy. All right, Eduardo. Okay, uh, I am Rob. Right, who are you gonna I work with? I work with, I forgot the name, sorry. All right, you work with Noemi. With, with Noemi. All right, good. Sorry. <laughs> Let's do something, Eduardo. Work with Noemi right now, and then Noemi is gonna be working with Manuel, and finally Manuel, we're gonna end up with you, okay? Like a circle. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. There you go. Okay. Let's go, guys. Wait, I I lost the the the, the screen the conversation screen. <laughs> Don't you see my screen? Uh, I, 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 I'm sure. I, I can. Are you, I can. Are you in the computer? Yes. In the right side up on your on your uh, screen. Ah, okay. Like yeah, a... Ready, ready. Okay. Ready, great. okay. I'm Rob. Uh, hey, Christina. What aspect do you consider is really important to take in consideration when selecting our next TPL provider? Well, there are several options to take into account. You know, we are growing and we need to partner with a competitive company provider. 
one of the options is that they must have a disaster recovery plan in case of any problem with love. You are right. <laughs> they also need to have a certified group of staff. So that way we can feel confident with the provider. And also they must have a great references, right? That's correct. They need to have a good background so that we can, we can trust our product to them. The process won't be easy, but we need to start soon. Can you help me creating a checklist too so we can evaluate candidates? Sure, I'll start working on that. Thank you, Rob. All right, there you go. Now, Noemi, help me out with Manuel. Okay. I start. Yes. Okay. Just okay. start. Start first. Primero. Just, just start first. With... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, hi, Cristina. Uh, what aspect do you do you consider it really important to take in consideration when se when selecting our next three PL provider? Well, are there are several options to take into account. You know, we are growing and we need to partner with a competitive com company provider. One of the options is that they must have a disaster recovery plan in case of any problems with loads. You are right. They also need to have a certified group start staff so that way we can feel confident with the provider and also they must have a great reference, right? That's correct. They need to have a good background so that way we can trust our products to them. The process won't be easy, but we need to start soon. Can you help me? Can you help me creating a checklist so we can Evaluate candidates. Sure, I have start working on that. Thank you, Ro. Okay, great. Now let's finish this, Manuel. Now let's start a conversation, and uh, um, Eduardo, it's gonna follow you up. Okay. Okay, Manuel. Okay. <clears throat> Hey, Cristina, what aspect do you consider is really important to take in consideration when selecting our next triple provider? Well, there are several options to take into account. You know, we are growing and we need to partner with a competitive company provider. One of the options is that they must have a disaster recovery plan in case of any problem with loads. You are right. They also need to have a certificate group of staff so that, so that way we can feel confident with the provider. And also they must have great reference, right? That's correct. They need to have a good background so that why we can uh, trust our product to them. The process won't be easy, but we need to start soon. Can you help me creating a checklist so we can evaluate candidates? Sure. I start working on that. Thank you, Rob. Okay, very good. Thank you, Manuel, Eduardo, and Noemi. You did it excellent as always. Now, who's going to be next, guys? Hmm. It's missing more. There were four groups. I know Lorena wants to participate very much. Right, Lorena? Okay. Um, <laughs> All right. I work with Carla. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. Great. Let's go, guys. Carla? Me, okay. 
Hey, Cristina, what aspects do you consider is really important to take in, in consideration when selecting our next 3 pn provider? Well, there are several options to take into account. You know, we are growing and we need to partner with a competitive uh, company provider. One of the, one the options is they, they must have a disaster recovery plan in case of any problem with loads. You're right. They also need to have a certified group staff so that way we can feel confident with the provider and also they must have great references, right? That's correct. They need to have a good, a good background so they way uh, we can trust our product to them. The process won't be easy, but we need to start soon. Can you help me create a checklist so we can evaluate candidates? Sure, I'll start working on that. Thank you, Rob. Okay, perfect. Thank you, girls. All right, who's next? Let me see. Oh, have all of you participated? Let me see. One, two, three, and uh, four. Okay, did everybody participate? One, two, three. I mean, all of you have already participated. Now, guys, I need a volunteer because us being haven't been practicing because uh, he was driving, right? But he just got home. He is uh, looking at the conversation, but I need someone to help me out practicing with him. Who can help me out with him? All right, Edwin, thank you. Okay, Osbin, who you want to be, Rob or Christina? Rob. Okay, cool, let's start. Hey, Christina, what aspect do you consider is really important to take in consideration when selecting our next GPR provider? Well, there are several options to take into account. You know, we are growing and we need a partner with a competitive company provider. One of the options is that they must have a disaster recovery plan in case of any problem with lots. You are right. They also need to have a certificate, certified grab staff so that way we can feel confident with the provider. And also they must have great references, right? That's correct. They need to have a, a good background so that way we can trust our product to them. The process won't be easy, but we need we need to start soon. Can you help me creating a checklist so we can evaluate candidates? Sure. I start working on that. Thank you, Rob. Okay, excellent. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Edwin uh, and Osvin. You did it excellent. Now, guys, you had three questions discussing on related to that um, you know, conversation. The first question was, what is the conversation about? I want to listen to uh, a couple of uh, you know opinions to you, what you did with your classmates. And I'm gonna start with, uh, let me see, Daisy and Edwin. So what do you guys have there? They need to know whether the most important aspect for to selective uh, the uh, the next three pm. Mm, okay, that's what you got on number one. Okay, very good. Thank you guys. Uh, Eduardo, Noemi, and Manuel, what do you have in in, in that one? Can you 
repeat the question, please. All right, again. What is the conversation about? Okay. They are talking about uh, the selection of the of 3PL service. Mm -hmm. Because they need they need it um, for uh, the the corporation that is growing. Okay, so that's what you and your classmates have. Okay, very good. Thank you, sir. Now, Lorena, what do you have in there? You and Carla. Um, uh, they they are talking about the aspect of your do they uh, have a consider to uh, selecting three triple provider. Okay, very good. And the last one, thank you. And the last one, Christian. And classmate? Uh, basically, basically, they have a list of some needs that they have to, comp that they need and to, uh, to hire the following provider. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. So basically the conversation is a little bit of what you were saying, guys. In this case, the conversation is just about, all right, on how to find a way by creating a checklist, all right, in order to hire a 3PL provider. Basically, as you were saying. Now, what about number two? It says, why did Christina ask Rob to create a checklist? Who wants to be a volunteer and tells me that? Me. Okay, let's go ahead. With to, to evaluate a candidate for PPL. Ah, okay, very good. So basically they are a, creating a checklist to evaluate, right? Possible candidates, all right? For TPL to be hired. Okay, very good. So that was basically all right, the reason why Christina uh, was asking Rob to create a checklist, good. What about number three, guys, the last one? What are some options to take it an, into account to hire a PL provider? Any volunteer? Maybe they must have uh, a disaster, disaster recovery plan All right. and, and uh, have a, a great reference. Okay, great. Very good, thank you, Edwin. Something else, guys? That probably might be missing. Certified group staff. Okay, yeah. that's the only one, right? They must have a certified group of staff. Okay, very good, among others, right? Very good, guys. So basically that was, uh, all right, um, the options or a couple of options to take into account when hiring a 3PL provider. All right, excellent. Well done, guys. Well done with this. Now, let's go back to the presentation because I want to show you something, guys. Since in here, it's basically talking about checklists, all right? So a checklist, remember, is a list of sentences of options that you can take into account when giving, or in this case, having a decision, okay, or for something. So in this case, I want to show you this. Like, checklist sample to hire a 3PL company. This is just a brief checklist just for you to have an idea what is a checklist about and how to do one in order to hire a 3PL company. Check this out. We got checklist to hire a 3PL company. You got options, yes and no. All right, the first sentence or the first aspect to take into account. Lorena, help me reading the one, the, the first one. They have great reference. Okay, very good. So in this case, remember guys, this aspect might be very essential 
when you're looking for or, or you're trying to hire a triple provider, right? So in this case, ah, do these company have uh, great references? So you can mark it as yes, all right? So it's something positive for the company, right? If it is no, ah, yeah, you have to think about it, right? And uh, what about the second uh, aspect? Carla, help me already. And they have a disaster recovery plan. Ah, okay. What happened if they go through a bad situation? Do they really have a recover a disaster recovery plan? All right. Let's suppose uh, the trailer that you are sending with the product, the trailer breaks down. All right. What is going to happen to the product? Right. The product has to be delivered. So in this case. A disaster recovery plan in this case is like, ah, if a truck breaks down, I need to have an extra truck to recover that load. So in that case, for the product to arrive on time, right? So those aspects are necessary to take into account in this case. And uh, what about the aspect number three? Osbin, help me a reading, please. The second. The number three. Uh, they provide appropriate warehousing service. Okay. You have to take into account if that company that you are planning to hire, they have what? Uh, provide appropriate warehousing service, a good warehousing service, right? So those are aspects to take into account and they are very, essential right all right uh manuel help me out reading the number four sorry manuel <laughs> uh, no 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 problem <laughs> they have they have they have certificate group staff certified group staff okay uh sorry they have certified group staff okay thank you manuel so in this okay, case thank you remember if they have Tra very uh, certified, a uh, really certified uh, group of staff. It means that the people who work there are trained to know what to do with the product, right? So in that case, you can trust in in that kinds of you know provider. So in that case, your product might not be damaged, right? So that's what it it talks about. And the last one, Christian, help me reading. Uh, they have advanced technology tools. Okay, very good. Let's remember that we don't only need to have a, a warehousing process there or, you know, the process for your product to be in good conditions, but also we need advanced technology tools as well, right? So in that case, if you want to check what you have in the inventory in the warehouse, so you can easily get that information through probably the cell phone or probably through the computer, right? So in that case, uh, these uh, companies need to be, you know, with good technology at least, right? To provide a, a warranty, a good service, okay? To, to the company who is producing the product, right? Good guys. Now, here it comes the activity that we're gonna be working on, okay? What are you going to do now, guys? Listen, I'm gonna send you to work with the same people that you have been working with, but now what are we gonna do? Listen, let's suppose, guys, let's suppose you are now not a third-party logistics provider, all right? No, now work like if you are a company, who is producing a product, but you need to hire a 3PL, okay? A third party logistics provider. So I want you guys to create a checklist with your own aspects to take in consideration to hire a company, all right? A third party logistics provider. What are those aspects that you should take into account when hiring a 3PL provider? So I want you to do a checklist. Listen, 
listen, of at least 10 aspects. The checklist must have at least 10 aspects, okay? Let's create that. And then we're gonna come back in here and you're gonna explain to me why those aspects are really necessary for you and the company that you are working with or you will work with, they need to have that, okay? Good. Do you understand what we're going to do, guys? Any question before we go? No questions? Everything clear? Okay, great. So a checklist like this, guys, like the one in the presentation. So I'm gonna stop sharing and I'm gonna send you to work again, guys, in the same groups that you were working with. Okay, let's go, guys. Let me see, I haven't assigned you guys. Number four, go to number four in Oswin. Number one. Okay, for Edwin Alexander and Oswin, please join to, to these groups. I have assigned you. Aspects. Yes, yes, we need. Mm -hmm. If you need to make a, a, a checklist, what what things? that you guess that is necessary to make. Ah. It's necessary to consider uh, security. Priority. Se security. Ah, security. Yes. Security, what else? Mm. Oh. Full technology. Uh, they have, they, yeah. they yeah. have advantages to the Uh, another one it could be a, uh, a good transportation for those goods good transportation <clears throat> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, another one is mm. uh -huh. maybe I think, uh, I think so is delivery delivery insure ensures the product oh no deliver product ensure Uh, you, you, uh, we can add uh, the if the provider have a national uh, distribution or is only in San Salvador. Mm -hmm. I think okay. Um, can separate, for example, capacity in the warehouse and capacity for deliver in, ah, okay. in different 
different parts of El Salvador, maybe. Different zones. Areas. Yes. Or, or areas. 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 Mm, I think the the um, important point is the the TPL provider is necessary has a inventory mm. Sir. Yes. A question. Uh -huh. Uh, we have used to the um uh, 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 statements that you uh -huh, that you in, in in the example ah you mean that if you can include the uh, sentences that I included in my example. Yes. <laughs> Why? <laughs> um, because maybe we don't have ideas. Or <laughs> okay, take take them. No problem. Okay, but they are not ten. <laughs> no, obviously no. They are two, four, five. We need five more. Jesus, ah, come on. People. Yeah. Imagine, imagine you three okay. have your your company. I mean, what is, what are you going to take mm -hmm. in consideration uh, when hiring a third party logistics provider? If you have your own company, what do you want that provider to 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 have? For you to say, I mean, this is a good provider, so I am going to hire them because it's good for my company. And the quality, maybe, I don't know. The quality of what? Of the service or mm -hmm. something. The service quality, okay, good. Okay. I'm going to invite you. Um, uh, maybe we uh, our product um be guaranteed guaranteed mm -hmm. safe <laughs> accepted no one okay you see ah you got idea <laughs> okay. tell, tell Elwin to support there right Elwin maybe. Ah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So yeah. it's the the the, the capacidad, capacity capacity sí. uh, storage capacity oh storage capacity yeah. it could be one of the options exactly exactly okay okay let's let's do more okay. Okay. What else? Uh, reference or view pricing structure. Uh, if they have a customer service or and a software, maybe. Yes, it's a it's, it's a good idea. Support, uh, customer service. Yep. Customer service support. Uh, customer service, customer service and support. How many we have? I have 10, but <laughs> invent <laughs> the aspect that I did it. Yeah, we have 10. I have 10 too. You have 10. Yeah. That's when yep. you have 10. Yep, 10. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good. Now, 
try to make a distribution how you guys are going to explain that to me, right? Remember that those aspects are the ones that you are you need for your provider, right? For uh, seeking a good provider. So distribute those, uh, that among you three, and then you're gonna tell me, right? In the main section, you're gonna mm, try to explain me why you chose those uh, aspects, right? When choosing, you know, like a third party logistics provider. Uh, we can choose another, 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 we can choose another point. Um, if, if his needs and subject is the same that ours and also, um, I don't remember. Ah, the contract, the terms of the contract. Including add to including these two points. Excellent warehouse. Excellent job. Mm -hmm. I great good. Excellent. Okay. Next one. Number five. No. Mm -hmm. Number four. four. For good tra transportation. Transportation. Mm -hmm. Number five. Delivery fast. Mm -hmm. Fast delivery. Fast delivery. Ah, fast delivery. Oh, sorry. <laughs> fast delivery. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Good. <laughs> Come on, man. Okay. Now, distribute, distribute among you both how you're going to do to explain that to me, uh, the reason why you chose uh, those aspects, okay? Because in the main section, you're going to tell me why you chose those aspects when selecting a okay. company. Good, guys. Okay. The, the 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 qualified personnel mm. the qualified the custom service maybe no no the qualified person personal um with uh, the best capacity for the the work i don't know <clears throat> ah, but in this case, I think is uh, I think it's the second point is capacity in the warehouse. No, no, I'm talking about no. the capacities of the workers, the person who no, no. who drives the trucks. Uh, Maybe, maybe, yes, mm, the picking. Uh, no. Well, uh, right. fuera en, no, en diferentes pesos, teacher, eh, tonelaje. Okay. Different ways. Uh -huh. Se podría usar en el caso del, del transporte pesado. Pues, ajá, que tenga diferentes canales o, de distribución. O tonelaje o peso. Distribution no sé. channels. You can put it like that. Distribution channels. Mm -hmm. Ok. Ah, ok. That's, that's nice. Okay, that's number seven, right? Let's see. Okay. Great, you got three more. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> from your list. <laughs> Reverting service. Oh my God. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> when you finish, guys, distribute the aspects among you. Because in the main section, you're going to go and tell me why you chose those aspects when hiring a TPL, okay? Okay. Okay. And in the warehouse. Ah, okay. For both. Okay, for, for both. both. It's, it's great. I think so. It's, it's great when the monitoring for the for the truck, um, for the workers, um, and the quality, and the quality for uh, the quality of the product, it's great. If it's no problem. Okay. And the last one can be the can be the insurance. I think. Insurance. Ah, um. Mm -hmm. Can be insurance. Insurance for provides protection. For the product. Hmm. But in this case, it's like a disaster recovery plan. Hmm. We have the drink, the, the 10 points. I read the first is experience. Okay. Don't sleep, Manuel, don't sleep. The second capacity <laughs> in the warehouse. <laughs> capacity in the warehouse and capacity for delivery in different areas to El Salvador. Uh -huh. Okay. Give me a okay. <clears throat> Another is have inventory management, have good reference, references, uh, have monitoring in warehouse and equipment, competitive prices, Okay. Financial stability, disaster recovery plan, workers with experience and responsibility. And another one is insurance for providers protection to the product. Uh, pro All right, guys. Now that you have done I and set up your, your uh, aspect when choosing a provider, I want you to distribute those um, among you three. And uh, you're going to explain that to me, guys. Why is it important to you? And why did you take in consideration those aspects uh, for hiring uh, a provider? Okay? That's what you're going to do. Okay. So now okay. distribute uh, who's going to uh, explain to me, all right, which aspects. And then we're going to go, okay? No, I mean, can can explain <laughs> <laughs> all of them? Yeah. And, and you and <laughs> yes, yes, no, I miss right, yeah, yeah, miss right. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> okay, good, good, good offer. <laughs> it's because we yeah. we done a, a checklist yeah. about us and. The they, are my, my, they are my they are my barra. Is, uh, no, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, guys. You're gonna have three more minutes to do that, okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, great. Because maybe you understand more <laughs> that inventory thing or something. <laughs> I mean, you okay. had four, five, and four, five, and six. 
And I, I have one, two, and three. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Poor Elwin. But it doesn't have to be that so, long, right? Because so you're gonna have four Elwin. Oh my God, you see how they are. <laughs> <laughs> we. Mean. I mean, he knows better than us. <laughs> Aha! Uh -huh. That's the excuse. That's the excuse to give more work to me. Right? That's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's try to distribute, guys. Now, uh, do you have any question with something that you probably have problems at the moment of uh, explaining to me? Any word that you probably will need that you don't uh, know? So everything is okay? Yes. Nice. Exactly at 9.45, we're going to go back, okay? I need to check on another group. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. We, we can try it now. If... Ready, guys. Everything good? No question? Uh, yeah, just we have to try, to try it first. <laughs> and we are ready. Great, because exactly 9.45, we're going to go back. And I'm just checking on you if you have everything set up knows what each one of you is going to say so so but if you're ready i'm just gonna check the last pair and then we're gonna go back okay okay nice hey uh, sorry i got a question for you really for um, this explanation but which question I no, I had it on 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 my on my tongue on the in la punta de la lengua. I don't know how to say on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> on the tip <laughs> of my tongue, but uh, it's on right it. now. <laughs> ah, come on, man. All right, if you remember about that question, let me know through the chat, okay? Because it's time for us to go. Uh, because I need to listen to you guys, okay? Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Let's go back to the main section. See you there. Now your classmates don't want to show happy <laughs> here to the main section. <laughs> they are still. <laughs> what, what are they doing yet? It's supposed that everybody has already finished. Maybe they were into the uh, club. Exactly. They are, they are waiting. The, club, the time's over. <laughs> the final kick out. Now they are coming in here. These responsible people. <laughs> okay guys who wants to be the first one and i'm pretty sure nobody was going to say me <laughs> who wants to be the first one guys any volunteer our group will be the first if you want if you uh, get an opportunity yes <laughs> daniel of course man of course so, and Christian is like, oh my God, Daniel, I don't, I don't want to be the first one. <laughs> okay, I, guys. Actually, yes. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, tell me, uh, what are those 10 aspects that you that you have in there and why it's it important for you to choose, you know, a 3PL provider? Okay. Uh, we choose this checklist because uh, we believe that they are part of the most important points to select a provider. Uh -huh. um, we start with the security. It, this point is uh, the most important thing because when um, 
a company gives the your products, you know that you have to uh, take care of your products, those products, and also the security risk assessment, uh, the facility protections, and the information protection is part of the of this security. Um, in the second point, we have a technology evaluation. Mm -hmm. uh, the technology is like is the kind of technology technology solution that uh, evaluation is referred to the process of identifying and evaluating different technology solutions. And the third and the third point, we have uh, inventory management. Uh, basically, is the process of managing and controlling a company a company's inventory, and the way how we gonna going to distribute the, those products. Okay. Excellent. My my partner will continue about the the checklist. All right. Great. Thank you. Yes. Other other aspect necessary is is have a good control on light and we select an online inventory if necessary okay. uh, the other point is uh, is have appropriate transport for a big product we if, if necessary the company have a uh, drivers okay. uh, and for a small package is necessary have a motorcycle mm -hmm. and other aspect necessary is uh, insurance because today there are uh, several problems, disaster, natural disaster. Uh, in a good insurance is very necessary. Okay, very good. Um, other aspect, uh, other aspect is the the, the experience. The uh, the company is necessary to have a lot of experience in uh, transportation and security and, and technology and inventory management uh, between others. Okay, very good. Okay, excellent. Okay, I will continue. Uh, we have a good reference about the about the 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 the, the trip here we uh, we need to con hiring mm -hmm. because we need to be sure what company will work with us uh, we need uh, because we need to be confident uh, we need to have a confidence works other is other one is is they have they have a competitive price uh, so we need um, we need to save money. The price should be competitive and reasonable. Okay. Other aspects, other aspects, uh, they have a customer service and support. We need to be updated about the information if we, we need to help to our, about the, the, our business, uh, if necessary to someone help to uh, get that information about that. Okay, great. Very good. Thank you, Daniel. All right. Uh, Osbin and Christian, you did it excellent. All right. Good aspects to take into account when selecting a TPL provider. Very good, guys. Well done. Now, uh -huh. one of you three guys, tell me one name who's going to be the next. Because nobody wants to say me, so... Choose for me. I don't want to point at anybody there. Think Edwin wants. Uh, Edwin. Which Edwin? We got two Edwins. Edwin Vladimir, Vladimir. or Edwin... Uh, Vladimir, Vladimir. Okay, Edwin Vladimir. <laughs> okay, good. So, Edwin and Daisy. <laughs> Edwin Vladimir. Edwin Vladimir. <laughs> you can start, guys. Okay. So uh, I will start uh, with the, the five. Uh, we have okay. we have to to choose uh, ten, okay. right? So I will start with the uh, the first uh, the, one, the first the first ones. 
then my partner uh, Daisy will continue. Ah, okay. So in this case, uh, uh, the first one is well, it says they have to have a security insurance and uh, also security uh, warehousing mm -hmm. because uh, this is important in order to uh, in two ways. The, the first one uh, for the personnel that is uh, guarding uh, the product in the warehouse and the and the second one for people who is uh, for example working in in any kind of transportation okay. uh, to continue with i decided to check on the list a uh, a competitive prices because it is important for the to hire a tpl uh, provider with a competitive prices uh, to get a uh, more earnings and save more money. Okay. Uh, the next one, uh, they need to have an excellent, well, warehouses because if I, if my company needs, for example, uh, a good location, uh, talking about this warehouse, uh, well, I have to look for a TPL provided that uh, gets me that to me okay. and uh, it is important to the transportation <clears throat> because uh, if i if my company is one of the biggest here in el salvador well i need a good transportation for my goods and the number five that i check on the list is uh, this trip uh, 3D provider, TPL provider, it has to have a, a on time delivery because uh, it's important to my goods are in a, also in a good condition in, in this one are in on time for the retailer stores and other warehouses. Okay, very good. Here you go. Good aspects to take into account. Now, I guess Daisy. Yes, okay. Daisy will continue. Okay. Okay. Uh, the aspect number six. Uh, we consider uh, they have to have a good inventory management. Um, they is very important because they must provide a plan to be able to keep the product well ordered and identified. Mm -hmm. uh, number seven, they have uh, a disaster a recovery plan. It's very important in case of any problem with loss or, mm -hmm. or products. And number seven, good reference. Uh, it's important because they have a good record and years of experience. Mm -hmm. And number eight, access accessible form of payment that offer different forms and times of payment. And number 10, the last, they have to be financial stable. Stable. Uh, st stable, okay. They have to be financial stable. That they have the possibility of responding in time to any inconvenience or problem. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, is if the product is damaged uh, or any problem in transport. Okay, all right, interesting. Okay, very good. Okay. So please, those are like the ten right, aspects for you to take into consideration when selecting your GPL provider. Okay, good, good.
good aspects to take into account. Okay. And some of them are presented to the, to the previous group. Okay, that's cool, guys. Thank you, Edwin, and thank you, Daisy. Now, one of you, give me the next participant. Give me one name, guys. You had that pleasure to, to select the next. Who wants you to be the next? Just one, whether you are win or Daisy. Lorena. Lorena. Ah. <laughs> and Lorena is like, ah, I mean, I should have turned off the camera. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so in this case, I got this Lorena, Carla, and Elgwin. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, listen, before you start, guys, uh, which groups are missing? It's missing uh, besides you, uh, uh, Eduardo, Manuel, and uh, Noemi, right? That's the only group yeah. that is missing? Ah, okay. Great. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Okay, girls. And uh, Elvin, let's go. Okay. So in our checklist, mm -hmm. we have first, and we have the service quality. Uh, we actually want a quality service mm -hmm. uh, in our products. I mean, in the we, we, I mean, when people who serve us or who attend us, can be kind and friendly and uh, we can feel like comfortable with the company that we are hiding. Mm -hmm. And number two, safety guarantee. And obviously <laughs> we want our products to be safe. And obviously we, for us to feel confident, uh, trusting in them, in the transportation of, of the products, and then obviously in, in the entire process that it could require like packaging or, or picking or something. So we want a, this safety guarantee. And number three, storage capacity. Uh, we want the company to offer good storage capacity so that we can be sure and, and confident that our products will be well stored. And that, you know, uh, it doesn't matter, for example, if sometimes we produce more products or in other time or in other times we produce less. So we want to be uh, confident that they can have the capacity to store products very good. So those were the three and my classmates were, will explain the others. <laughs> okay, great, thank you. Um, um they have most uh they have must uh a good inventory manager that we know the uh, with certainty what we have in the warehouse and uh, uh, they they must also have a very good recommendations that will um uh, will allow, allow us to uh, feel calm mm -hmm. and must be stable and responsible. Okay, stable and responsible. Is it? And, yes, Edwin, continue. <laughs> okay, 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 good. Uh, Edwin? Okay. Um, number seven, they, they offer free forwarding services. Mm -hmm. Maybe this part is for, uh, we need a, a, a big, a move a big quantity for, uh, for product or, or a, a little quantity of product. Mm -hmm. the, and the number eight, uh, they have a disaster recovery plan for a uh, for a, a problems and 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 uh, move the product or damage for the product. And the uh, number nine, uh, they have a great experience. 
uh, this one is for uh, we we need to know how they works. Mm -hmm. And the number ten, they have a appropriate warehouse and service. Uh, so, uh, this is for uh, um, we know the processing for the warehousing and storage the uh, the product. Okay. All right. Here you go. That's all. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, very good, guys. Good, good, good presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Elwin, Lorena, and Carla. You did it excellent. There are a couple of, um, you know, aspects that are really essential when selecting a TPL provider. Very good. Uh, what are we going to do with uh, the group that is missing? In this case, Eduardo, Noemi, and Manuel. You three, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Listen. Yes. All right, guys. Listen. Because of the time and it's ten oh four already, and I don't want to have you here for a long time because I know how tired you are, guys. Uh, let's do something. Tomorrow at the beginning of the class, we're gonna start off with a short feedback, and right after that short feedback that we generally do every single class, you know, before starting you guys are going to uh, present what you got, okay? Or what you did today, okay? Okay. 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 Oh, guys, because I don't want to have you here for a long time. Yeah, I know how tired you are, so you need to rest. Okay, good, guys. So uh, I'm going to pass the attendance list in this case, and uh, that's going to be everything for today, guys. Give me one second. Carmen, mm -mm -mm. Carmen is not here tonight. Uh, Christian Alejandro. Present. Okay, great. Daniel Arquimedes. Present. Okay, nice. Daisy Maricela. Present. All right. Elwin Alexander. Present. Okay. Elwin Vladimir. Present. Very good. Uh, Estela Mabel. Mm, I thought Estela was there. Yeah, but she was connected. Fatima Adriana. Present. Okay, good. Uh, Fatima Lourdes. Present teacher. Okay, good. Jaime Antonio. Yeah, he was definitely not connected. Eduardo Jose. Present teacher. Okay, good. Uh, Carla Lisette. Here, teacher. Okay, great. Um, Kenya Cecilia. Present. All right, Lorena Beatriz. Present. Lorena, can we have the 10 minutes feedback tonight? Okay. Okay, great. Stay with me after class. Uh, thank you, by the way. Uh, let me see, Lorena. Manuel Antonio. Manuel, you there? Man, he was sleeping. He left already. Okay, good. So he left. Uh, Maria Gabriela. Present. Okay, good. Uh, Mary Raquel. Okay, so Mary was not here tonight because I didn't see her. Noemi Betsabe. Present. Okay, and last one, Osbin Alexis. Present. All right, guys, thank you for getting Teacher. Yes? Don't, don't say my name. <laughs> don't didn't say my name. I, you you were there. Oh, come on, I mentioned it. Already. I thought you were going to sleep, man. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> sleep, sleep. Okay, no, no problem. I I I put you there in the attendance list. You are here. Okay. We see you. <laughs> okay, okay, good. Okay, have a nice day, guys. Uh, uh, let's meet tomorrow. Okay, I hope you had a wonderful night, guys. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you. Bye bye. Good night. Uh, see you.
Bye bye. All right. So Lorena, this this couple of minutes is for us just to you know clarify any question, any doubt that you can have related to this class or previous classes or something related to the platform. So I don't know if you have any question that might concern you, Lorena. No, I don't have question. I I really um, tratando. I really try, <laughs> yeah. but uh, but in, in general, I understand. I mean, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, what about with the platform? Everything is going okay with the platform? Yes, yes. I I boy boy. Um, ¿Cómo se dice? Todos los días. Every day. <laughs> boy boy. <laughs> Clase que termina, tarea que hago. I mean, that's cool. Okay, that's perfect. That's perfect. Yeah, I mean, even though it is good that you're going that way, because in, in here, this week, in the past week, it was like, for example, yesterday we had a, a week, I mean, class 12, and this one is class 13. I don't know if you have, if you have seen that in the platform, it's like class uh, 11 and class 12, one homework. Yes. Class 12 and class 13, <laughs> you got another one. Yes, so yes. that case is, is going like that, but that's okay, right? If you're keeping, you know, like uh, doing the homeworks, that's excellent, okay? So everything is going okay then, Lorena? No problem, no issues? Yes. Everything okay. Okay, very good. So in that case, yeah, if you don't have anything to discuss with me, I let you go to, to sleep, okay? And, Thank and, you. and have a good night, okay? And see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. All right. So tonight, it was a very productive class, guys. Uh, we were discussing basically, you know, aspects on a checklist by creating a checklist, of course, right? About the aspect how to, uh, to take into account when hiring a 3PL provider. So in this class, the students were discussing the possible aspects that they will take into account if they had a company and they needed, you know, a 3PL a company. Let's remember that these aspects uh, are really essential uh, when hiring a company you know, a provider, because in that way, you can have a further information, a in simple way to help you in, as I said before, in a very simple way to choose on the most appropriate provider that you can need for your company. So in this case, on a checklist, you can put a very essential aspects, like for example, if the company has, um, what, just to put an example, if they offer a, what, a cross docking capability, if they have a, you know, a plan for a disaster, a recovery, um, if they have good references, so, and the experience that these uh, providers have, or how they, you know, the staff is um, trained to do the job and everything, right? And obviously the process, the processes of warehousing the products in, in the facilities. So in that case, all of those aspects are really necessary to take into account when choosing a company um, as a provider, right? Because you don't want to have any kind of, you know, loses in, in uh, when talking about your incomes. So that's the reason why it is very essential to have this kind of checklist at the moment of hiring a provider, right? But not only uh, those aspects are really necessary, of course, uh, the students were telling, uh, like, for example, that how much security 
the the warehouse provide or how more how much trained the drivers are let's remember for this type of job a uh, people generally need right a trained and very uh you know like mental um how to say this like mentally active drivers so in that case they can react uh, in any situation right so that's why it's really necessary to take all those those aspects into account so that was part of the class what we were just working on uh the students were working in a, a conversation as well they were practicing and they were answering a couple of questions related to that conversation all right and at the beginning of the class as in every class we had a short feedback just talking about what they have been doing the past days and uh, obviously um everybody generally participates in these kinds of activities let's remember that it's really essential for all the students to participate so that way they can practice uh you know their language and their skills and uh, i hope guys you can keep the same way how you have been practicing just to you know improve every day so by tomorrow we will continue with the topic that we were discussing tonight so in another video conference so good night <laughs>